Okay, in a one minute drawing, in a one minute quick sketch, you don't really have a whole lot of time to think too much about stuff. You can kind of go for a quick impression or you can go for a mechanical drawing. And I'm going to go for a mechanical drawing here. And in a one minute time allotment here, um, what we can get is the tilt of a head, the jaw, maybe the corner plane of the head, coming down into the front of the head, the nose of the face, maybe the connection point to it, an eye socket, the other eye socket, maybe where the ear resides on the side of the head, the jawline, the two cylinder, the cheek structure possibly or maybe the eyeball fits the eyeball on the other side of the head maybe the bridge of the nose and we're done that's about one minute that's with construction now let's redo that again And let's shoot for let's start again and let's do this one with detailing in it and this one actually had a hat so what I'm going to do here is draw with the hat here we go and what I'm thinking about now really does have to do with the markings that I make. Where this one, the markings were more about a technical craft, putting a bunch of things together technically. But now here, the markings really count as a picture. And in one minute, who knows, maybe we'll get two or three markings down that'll kind of look like somebody. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll only get enough in to show that there's a hat with somebody underneath it, but we don't have any idea who underneath it is. And in the said amount of time, we can say that, well, we tried. And that's about as far as we can go. Now, we can also do the same thing with a line drawing in one minute. Let's reset the clock here. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the contours of the head. And I'm going to be designing based on those. My pencil's kind of choking up here. I'm not sure what's up. And what I'm kind of doing here is a continuous line drawing and I'm allowing the pencil just to create continuous markings that will hopefully eventually connect together and form the illusion of a person underneath that hat and the problem that I have here is that this distance is a little too long but whatever you get the idea. So there's a difference in the markings here. This one has more construction involved. This one has more construction but shadow patterns involved. And the shadow patterns create a tonality difference between one area and the other, which in this case it's light and dark. I wasn't thinking of the local surfaces yet. And in this case over here, a continuous line might get you all the information that you need in certain degrees and then from there you still have more information to put into the picture but this is about quick sketching so you pick your poison and since I'm doing this all in demonstration mode I'm not really uh, pushing myself here the way I would push myself normally and if I do what I'll do is I'll set the camera up and just not talk and do a straight demonstration of that um, alright so let's move on to some other stuff